This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So, section six of chapter two talks about payments to charities under the gift aid scheme and personal pension contributions and the impact that that can have on your income tax computation for an individual. We have mentioned both of these before, but not in much detail. So if you are a basic rate taxpayer, then any payment that you make under the gift aid scheme is treated as being paid net. So give you an example what I mean here. To give a charity a hundred pounds, you only need to make the payment of 80. So we have a charity. You give them as an individual, you give them £80. They then claim your 20% tax, £20, from HMRC under the gift aid scheme. They give that to the charity and the charity therefore has £100. So it's an automatic relief. Whatever you pay, regardless of how much it is, £80, £85, £185, that's treated as the net payment and the gross payment. To do that, you have to do that calculation. So whatever the payment, so maybe it's, I don't know, let's, let's stick with uh, £950, whatever that is, you multiply that, so that's treated as the net, you multiply it by 100 over 80 and that will give you the gross figure and that's the figure that we have been looking at previously. So do you remember when we did ANI, adjusted net income, to see whether or not uh, the personal allowance needed to be adjusted? Gross pension payments were part of that. We want to just have a look round to that page so that you can confirm in your mind that that's what it is. You want to stop the recording and have a look at that and come back so you know what you're doing um, to get the gross you multiply it by 100 divided by 80 from whatever it is that has been paid read the question carefully does the question say the amount paid by the individual in which case you need to do this calculation or does it say that this is the gross amount so as i put here read the information in the question carefully because you're looking for the gross figure. If you are a higher rate taxpayer or an additional rate taxpayer, then you need to get additional tax relief for that payment that you've made under law. So for a high rate taxpayer, you would expect relief at 40%. Now you're getting 20% at source, as we've just discussed, automatic. Now the extra 20% comes through the tax computation the income tax calculation. So it's not in the top, it doesn't appear in the top cop pro forma where we bring all the income in, it doesn't appear there at all. What it does is it extends that basic rate band. So for an individual, 37,700 is the basic rate band. So up to that figure you pay tax at 20%. If you made a hundred pound contribution, gross, as, it's, as we've just discussed here, if you make that contribution to a charity, the gross contribution of £100 extends the basic rate band, giving you that extra 20% tax relief on that £100. Now, exactly the same for an additional rate taxpayer, you would extend both the basic rate band and the higher rate band by that £100 so that they get then the full relief for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at Elliot. Now Elliot has this example will help you to see how that works in practice. Because obviously these are the rules and with all of the rules you may need to write them out. So what is the rule? It extends the basic rate band. 
How do we do that? What's the impact? We're going to show a calculation and then obviously that will have an effect on the amount of tax that the individual has to pay. So Elliot, trading profits of 53,000. He paid 1,600 pounds to a charity. So remember, now we have to gross that up. So he paid 1,600 pounds and we have to gross it up in order to find out. Now it's this figure, 2,000 pounds, that we will use to extend his basic rate band. Now that calculation there is going to get you marks because it shows that you know what the, you've read the question carefully and you've put £1,600 down. You know what the figure is in order to make a gross and you've used the correct figure. So you could get two marks for that, extending the basic rate band. Sometimes one, the first time you do it, probably two, the second time, probably half or one. So let's have a look at how that would look in reality if we were doing a computation for Elliot. So as always, a heading Now he's only got non-savings income, so I'm not going to put all the columns in. And he's got trade income of 53,000. And a personal allowance, which does not need to be um, altered because it's not over the limit, giving him a taxable, don't forget the, la the labels, every time you repeat the labels now while you're watching this you don't just watch it it really should be writing this out because you learn in several ways you learn by watching you learn by listening but you also learn by doing so when i'm writing these computations out don't just watch them write them out yourselves because your brain then sees not only me but also what you're writing and your brain is actually doing something as well, just listening. And it all helps those synapses to bring all that information um, back to play. So this computation looks similar to all the other ones that we've done. Income tax calculation. So the working number one is to extend the basic rate bands. So working one. So our answer goes in our income tax calculation. Separate your workings out, underline them so that everybody knows it all, highlight them so that everybody knows what it is you're doing. So the basic rate band is 37,700 and then you would show that 1600 times 100 over 80 equals 2000 which would then give us 39,700 as our extended basic rate band. Label everything really well. So this is the net and this is the gross. You're showing your ability to understand the rules. So the basic rate band is now 39 oops 39,700 pounds which will tax at 20%. The balance up to 40,430. Remember, we are then so there's 730 pounds which will be taxed at 40%, and that gives us 7,940 and 292 gives a total income tax liability of 8,232 pounds. So now let's look further on and have a look at example number 12, where Thomas earned £160,000 of trading profits in 23-24. And in the year he paid £6,400. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to gross that up in order to see what's going to happen. So we can see here that he's an additional rate taxpayer. 
So let's have a look and see how that works in practice. So as always, we would write the heading. And he only has one source of income, so we're just going to use that. And he has trade income of £160,000. Less. Always put this in, even if it's not applicable. Always put the person allowance in and then go away and work out. Um, we're going to do working number one with that. So I'm just going to do it here at the side. I wouldn't do that in the exam, but obviously here it just makes it a little bit more convenient. So his net income is £160,000. Now, he made a gross pension contribution. That gross pension contribution, he paid £6,400, did he not? Per the question. Go back, check the question times 100 over 80 which gives us a total of 8,000 that is deducted from his net income to come to his ANI label it ANI now he is above the limit so no personal allowance now obviously you can see from the fact that he's earned £160,000 that he's not going to get a personal allowance. Don't ignore it. There will be marks for that working because you've proved that the rule applies in this case. That's his taxable income. So it's very important that if you come across a rule, you don't just ignore it. Oh, yeah, I can see it doesn't, it doesn't get any personal allowance, so I'll just get on with it. Well, that's not the point. The point is, you know the rule, there is no personal damage due, and you can prove it with the calculation that we've just done there, and then you put at the bottom, he's above the limit so he doesn't get a personal allowance. You'll get marks for that. So that's very, very important. So, tax calculation for um, Thomas. Now, we also need to extend these basic rate bands. So, working number two. Rate bands. I'm labelling. I'm telling the exam examiner I know that 37,700. The rate bands, the basic rate band, 37,000. And the high rate band of 125,140. They need to be extended by the gross payment. and forty. Okay, so the first uh, basic rate, £45,700, will be taxed at 20%. Then at high rate, up to £133,140 will be taxed at 40%. So that is a balancing figure there of 87,440, which gives us tax of 34,976. And then the additional rate, the balance of his income of 160,000 will be taxed at 45%. The balance is 26860, which is 1000, sorry, 12,087, giving a total liability if you add those up 56,203.